me just test my my knowledge of the young people. Yes. That's a chance the rapper hat, right? It is. It yeah. is. He gave it to me. Oh, he gave it to you. He gave it to me. It was a reject, though. What do you mean it was a reject? He apparently looked at these and was like, no, nah, I don't want this one. I don't want this. this. is not the design. And then I was at a studio. He's like, hey, Lena, you want this? I was like, sure. Why not? <laughs> I I'll take your reject hat. Nice, Why yeah. not? It looks good on me. It's a one of one. You just got back from South by Southwest I in did. Austin, Texas, where they had a surprise premiere of Ready Player One. Yeah, It wasn't a yeah. surprise to you, I'm guessing. It wasn't a surprise to me. It was a surprise to all the excited people. And um, it, look, I think we got one. We got a, I think we got a, a big movie on I've our I've been hands. reading very good things about it's it. It's good, thank God. Was it fun being in that theater with all of those people watching that movie it, for the first time? It was phenomenal, because I was watching a lot of people that don't probably get out that often uh, <laughs> be in a space. But the cool thing is, it's a love letter to them. It's about if you're obsessed with any kind of, like, games, 80s, culture, this is for you. We're uh -huh. going to ask you to leave the basement, come up out the house, put on your best vintage, you know, shirt, <laughs> T-shirt situation, you know, put the grease in the hair, and, <laughs> and just come out there and come with us. I mean, it was so big, we blew the speakers. Uh, for real? We blew the speakers. The sound went out at a time that was not supposed to. Oh, no. And, uh... Was Steven Spielberg there? <laughs> he was. Oh, no. Uh, not good. Uh, but I thought it was the best thing that could have happened, because here's the deal. If, if nobody cared that the sound went out, we would have been in trouble. But the fact that the whole crowd was like, oh, hell no, come uh. on, man. <laughs> not right now, not at this part in the movie. Uh, I mean, they were so hyped that even if the, the, it didn't come back, they would have walked out of there like, yo, that movie is lit. Really? We don't know how it ends, but <laughs> it's amazing. Wow. Uh, but though they fixed, they fixed the sound, and the crowd, like, literally stood up. And you have so a excited. relationship now with Steven Spielberg? I do. You do? Did I do. You meet him for the first time when you were auditioning? Thank God I did not. He did was not. not in the room when I auditioned, or I probably wouldn't have got the part. I would have been very nervous, because, uh, you know, he made the movie that all black people watch at least twice a year, which is The Color Purple. <laughs> so I would have been it's very, It's on that like, heavy a rotation, out. huh? It's heavy. <laughs> I didn't watch know that. Easter, it's like a weird thing. So, <laughs> so I would have been very nervous about that. But so, no, I didn't meet him. I went in a couple times with the casting directors, the amazing casting directors, Ellen Lewis and Leslie Feldman. Uh, they called me and they told me, like, hey, look, you got the part. Steven wants you to play H. And I was like, oh, man, this is amazing. So then I meet him at this party called the Night Before Party, which a lot of people, it's a really great party about Hollywood. They raise money for really it's good It's a charity causes. thing, yeah. A charity right. event, yeah. And so that's where I'm meeting him. I go to this party. I'm, like, in my best, you know, little suit on. And, I, and they walk me over and I see he's talking to Leonardo DiCaprio, probably talking about things that rich white people talk about. I don't know. <laughs> so, um... Yes. I, and so I'm like, hey, so I go, I, I go up to him and <laughs> he's like, oh my God, Leo, this is Lena. She's going to play H. And Leonardo DiCaprio in his very handsome way goes, oh, that's so amazing. How excited is my white person impersonation? He's like, oh, hi, isn't that so amazing? And he goes, look, man, it's all downhill from here. You don't do any better than Steven Spielberg. I was like, that's right, that's real. And so they went back to talking and I was like, well, isn't this fantastic? I was like, I'm in. Like, this is what happens. That like, shows a lot of self-confidence yes. to walk up and interrupt <laughs> the conversation between Steven Spielberg and Leonardo DiCaprio. I, mean, I don't know what y'all are talking about right now, but hi, Steven, good to meet you. I'm gonna be in your movie, brother. Was I was at a birthday party, and Oprah was talking to The Weeknd, and I stood there kind <laughs> of like about it? four feet away, <laughs> maybe 45 minutes, and then finally I just left. <laughs> That's the difference between us. Smart move, smart. If you like that video, then put a ring on it. Click the subscribe button below. Uh-oh-oh. Oh, oh.